Good morning, good afternoon and good evening everyone to the channel IT Simplified. In today's video in Azure, I'm here to talk about uh, Passion, which is one of the services which is under public preview from Microsoft. So you must be thinking, I just created one session or did one session on this uh, specific topic, why I'm doing this again. Uh, the reason I'm because uh, some of my subscribers said they said that uh, they wanted uh, explanation on or wanted to know more about the background why this is needed because the one session that I did I only showed you the step I didn't recorded any audio in this one uh, that's the reason but actually in this one we'll do uh, also go through the steps also but before I do that uh, I will just take a moment here explaining what Azure Bastion is right so in simple term, Azure Bastion is like a jump box, but it's a platform as a service. We all know what is the usage of a jump box in any uh, environment, uh, but because it's a platform as a service, it's scalable. You don't need to worry about the updates, the patching, everything is done for you in the background. Uh, the reason why will, uh, you will use this is that uh, in case you deploy any services within Azure, so you de deploy, say, a virtual machine or a server, uh, you want to access this through RDP or SSH, you need to assign a public IP. And uh, from the security perspective, uh, it's not a good idea if you want to open your RDP or uh, your SSH uh, to the public, right? So with Azure Bastion, you don't need to assign any public IP to your servers. Everything is uh, uh, accessed through SSL uh, and uh, uh, there is no client, there is no software, there is no agent that needs to be deployed on the on the machine. That's a good thing about the Bastion. So in a nutshell, it is like a jump box. It's a platform as a service and uh, uh, everything is secured. You can access RDP, you can uh, access your machines via RDP or SSH and there is no need of assigning public IP for this. And we'll test this uh, when, we, when we configure that. Right, so what I have in the environment is I have already created a virtual network. So I have a virtual network with the name TD VNet. I've also one machine with the name VM1. It is in the subnet TD subnet. Yeah, you can have multiple machines if you want. What we'll be doing is the first step is to uh, deploy the Bastion service. We need to create a subnet. Within the same virtual network, we'll create a subnet with the name Azure Bastion subnet. And in this, we'll deploy the Bastion service. And when the user is trying to access, you will access this. Everything is secure and you can RDP, so there is no need of assigning public IP. No public IP needed. No software agent or client needs to be installed. That's the, that's the advantage of using um, uh, Bastion services and also from the security perspective, which I've already uh, explained, right? Okay, so with this, let's go to the Azure portal and because it's in public preview right now, you might have to uh, run certain PowerShell commands to register for this service uh, and it's only applicable in certain regions only. I know East US is one and that is where my virtual machine is, but just want to show you the machine that I have. There is no public IP assigned to this. See, there is no public IP to this and uh, this machine is under the virtual network with the name TDVNet. And in that I have a subnet with the name TD subnet under which my machine is, right? So as I said, the first step we want to do is to create a subnet under which Bastion service will be deployed. And I'll name this Azure Bastion subnet. Address range, I'll give it uh, 192.168.1.0 slash 27 and everything remains default underneath and click on OK. So the subnet was added successfully, so I can close this. And I've already been passionate in my favorite bar. And let's go and click on add. 
we'll deploy this into the resource group under which my VM is and uh, you need to give a name for this pick the region it's East US because I know that service is available uh, in this specific region and in the virtual network it is TDVNet and my uh, bash subnet automatically appears over here you need to give a name for the public IP for this batch of services. I'll leave that to the default, review and create. And validation has passed. And click on the create button. So if I expand my notification tab, you can see that deployment is in progress right now. So let me just go back to my diagram. So what we have done is we created this subnet uh, with the name Azure Bastion subnet and then after that uh, we have deployed this within the Bastion services under this everything remains within this virtual network and what we are trying to achieve is because we have not enabled any public IP for this VM1 we will be trying to access all through the Bastion services right and it should be all secured traffic is all secured port 443 secure socket clear right Okay, so this deployment will take some time uh, while this is taking place. Let me also talk about the pricing of this because like any other Azure services, there is a price associated with that. It's not free. Nothing is free in public cloud. So let me just go to the pricing calculator. And if I just do a quick search for passion, it will appear here. Let me go inside, click on view. And... Uh, right now as i said it's only available in a certain region but let's pick for east us and uh, it goes by the scale unit so basically for how long these services are running and uh, generally uh because it's a platform as a service i don't think so you can uh, uh, pause it or shut down uh, it will be always up till you are using the services so the price that you see is in US dollar. You can always change the currency. So that's one cost. And the other cost is outbound data transfer. So we all know that there's no charge in public cloud for putting the data in. But when we pull the data out, which is egress, there is a charge for that. Uh, depending upon what zone you have, uh, you can pick that. Zone 1 is North America and Europe. And there are different tiers available. So 0 to 5 gig. There is no charge for that, uh, but if it is between 6 to 10 terabyte and even over to that, uh, there are different tiers uh, available. So that's why if I move this to say 6 gig, you'll see that there is a charge. You can always change. So depending upon um, what you think is the amount of data will be pulled from this, uh, you can uh, change this number. But the, the, but the major cost is the cost of this uh, pass services, which is close to $70 monthly on an average right something to keep in mind because public cloud i also know that a lot of people they have confusion because there are so many moving paths so many bits and pieces so you want to make sure that uh, whatever you're deploying uh, you know what is in the background uh, the cost associated with this so the deployment is in progress right now so if i refresh the page you can see that uh, my bash and services has appeared over here but still it is not completed so let's wait for this installation to finish
okay so the deployment has succeeded so let me just come out of this I will just give a refresh and if I now go to my virtual machine and expand this tab and click on the connect button you'll see that because we have uh, uh, deployed the bastion services uh, we see this tab also so let me go to the bastion service and provide the credentials so these are the credential which you gave when you deployed that uh, VM it's the same credential so I'm trying to use the same one and you can pick open a new window check that box and click on connect So you can see that now my machine is uh, getting connected to this and uh, it's all uh, over uh, through RDP and there is no agent, there is no client assigned to this. I don't have any public IP to this machine. Everything is secure and I think that's a great functionality and uh, soon it will be uh, GA. I hope you found this video on uh, Azure Bastion useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.